This is a 50,000 square foot entertainment complex we put right in the middle of the Arts District in downtown LA. This is Two Bit Circus. We just made up the term a micro amusement park. A whole variety of different kinds of immersive entertainment. We have a whole virtual reality arena, a hundred seat interactive game show theater, a carnival midway, a reimagined arcade, what we call story rooms, sort of our version of escape rooms. Working with local creators who are building in VR and AR and public entertainment to say, hey, here's an opportunity to test and see what people like and what works. Classic definition entrepreneurship, organize land, labor, and capital. And in modern day, land can be physical real estate like this. It can be audience online. I had a, a pretty wild childhood. You know, I grew up in Silicon Valley and you know, my dad's a big nerd and you know, Sundays with dad was going to Fry's Electronics and eating ramen noodles, you know? Yeah. And so we were always around that stuff and he continued to fill our house with you know, tools and gear and you know, whatever. And so it was a lot of fun. He's super curious and you know, I have a huge family, there's seven siblings. And so he really raised us around a lot of the things that he loved and, and as a result, we started to love them too. <laughs> And uh, any advice that you have for entrepreneurs just in general? You know, I think the one that my dad hammered into us all the time was that anybody who's taken a shower has had a good idea. The difference, the thing that makes the entrepreneur is going out and actually doing something about it, right? He'd be like, great, that sounds like a wonderful idea. What are you going to do today? How do you make $1 today? I don't care if it's going to be a billion dollar idea 10 years from now, prove something today, right? Make the marketing materials and go and see if somebody wants to buy it. It doesn't even need to exist. Just see if somebody wants it. You know, so often people will build a solution not even knowing that there's an audience or a market for it. You know, prove the market first and then you can vertically integrate the solution. And so I think there's a huge opportunity in just going out and doing something. Generate an income from what you're passionate about. I would love to make my dreams come true as a fashion designer. Um, I would love to normalize digital fashion, hyper-realistic renderings of clothing. It's not physical, like at all. Eventually, once we get AR into the mainstream and more people are starting to use it, I'm hoping to translate that, so. <laughs> if you're trying to find your passion, network with people and find the right people. A lot of this is centered around relationship building. A lot of this is centered around making connections. Leverage video, connect with people, whether it's using the Dub LinkedIn integration to send a video message or using the Dub Chrome extension. Screen video of a resume goes a long way. That type of personalized content, that type of information that really is connecting with the person and showing them that you have empathy, passion, that you really care about their business, not your business, but their business. Those are the things that are really gonna, in my opinion, differentiate you from the crowd and help to build those relationships that turn to revenue for yourself, but more importantly, a mutually beneficial value for the long term.